Every year, we're going to get hit by hail, at least somewhere across the countryside. So I thought it would be good to have a quick discussion about the severity and the amount of yield loss that we should anticipate. Sometimes it can be very large, others not so much at all. Let's talk about it. Standing in the field of corn that looks awful from hail damage. This stuff is about V14 or so. And then we've got some that are worse than this, but this really just ain't bad at all. I'm gonna say 0% yield loss here. So I'm near Providence, Kentucky. This is one of the areas that really got hit hard from hail. This corn's V12. I'm gonna say roughly 50% defoliation, something like that. If you look at the uh, defoliation chart from Purdue, corn at this stage with that much defoliation, still only a 9% reduction in yield. You can also see some pretty good signs that this corn's already sending some new growth out from the world. In this particular hail event, the hail was actually so large, we had some other issues going on. Not only do we have the 50% defoliation, but each plant that took a direct hit to the world actually perished. So you can see the yields here, hail damage on the left, no hail on the right. Instead of being roughly a 9% yield loss, which is what the defoliation chart had, when you add in the loss of actual plants, we were looking at roughly a 25% yield loss. So every health situation is slightly different. If you get into these situations, give us a call. Will we